Hello and welcome to another episode of Boxing with Paul. And today, I'm very excited to bring you the OnePlus and 300. OnePlus is refreshed to their budget lineup. Let's take a look at it. Released back in October of 2022. Again, I realize I'm a little bit late to the party. However, this phone retails for $228 and it's a fairly well equipped smartphone in this price range. As always, OnePlus comes through with a really nice, solid, and heavy duty packaging. And I'm a fan of their all black design, and I realize it might not be very environmentally friendly after Motorola came out with their soy ink only um, packaging. However, it's still a very, very nice packaging that's a bit understated, but I'm a fan of it. In the box, we got a quick start guide as well as terms and conditions. In addition to a very nice SIM injector tool that is very different and unlike the cheap twisted wire SIM injector tools that we get with Samsung and Apple. It's so nice to see companies putting just a little bit of effort for it. And here's the device itself, which we're gonna put aside for right now. And we got a red type A to type C USB cable. That is one plus proprietary cable that is gonna allow for up to 33 watts of high speed charging. Not to mention the 33 watt wall adapter which will allow you to charge your phone very very quickly and it's a very very nice such as not only are manufacturers removing this this is a high wattage power adapter i believe apple will charge you 30 dollars for their wall adapter i believe it came on price maybe 19.99 but it's something they sell you separately and it's something oneplus went ahead and chose to include with their packaging and it's just something that i really really appreciate like you guys can't imagine especially in today's day and age in today's landscape where nothing comes included in the box anymore. Now here is the OnePlus N300 and it is a very, very nice looking phone. It looks very, instead of making this look like the N100, like the N200, like the budget phones, this time around they made it look like the N20, which is the higher up phone that OnePlus has. And it's just a really, really nice and solid looking device. I'm I'm definitely a fan of the matte black that we have here in the rear and the dual cameras that we have in the rear. Uh, it prevents it from looking crowded. Now this device comes in at around 190 grams, only one gram heavier than the OnePlus N200. And then now this time around we support a 720 by 1612 90 hertz IPS display, which is, is a bit of a downgrade from last year's model because last year's model instead of 720, we had 1080 on the bottom and instead of 1600 we had 2400 so we had a much much higher pixel dense screen however it's not the end of the world we are able still to have a pretty high quality screen it's going to allow us to have a greater battery life and it's going to allow us to have greater efficiency in our processor in our day-to-day -day life and just like last year's model we do have the same 64 gigabytes of storage compared to the same four gigabytes of ram however unlike last year's model which had a Snapdragon 485G. Unfortunately, this time around, we have been downgraded to a MediaTek 6833 processor uh, with four of its cores clocked in at 2.4 gigahertz for those heavier power intensive tasks and the remaining four cores being clocked in at 2.0 gigahertz for those lighter day-to-day -day tasks. And then up on the front, we're gonna have a 16 megapixel selfie lens that is able to shoot up to a 1080p video at 30 frames per second, which has no surprises there. But now on the rear, again, we have our dual lens array, which is going to be a 48 megapixel Pixel main shooter followed by a two megapixel depth length for that bokeh effect and that blurred background effect. And then now inside we do have dual band Wi-Fi AC, we do have 5G, we do have Bluetooth 5.3 as well as having NFC and FM radio in addition to a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery. When we look at the left side we can see our SIM forward slash SD card tray followed by our volume sliders. When we look at the top we can see a pinhole microphone. 
when we look at the right, we can see our single power button that also doubles as a fingerprint scanner. And I am just so glad and so thankful for that. I very much appreciate that because every single time I'm trying to turn it up, I'm trying to turn it down, I wind up ending my phone call. I wind up turning off my screen. I wind up just not having a good time in general. And I really appreciate the fact that volume slider and power buttons are on opposite sides. When we get over to the bottom, we can see our speaker grill followed by our Type-C port, one more pinhole microphone, and we should look at that and auxiliary jack. No need for dongles or other accessories for you to purchase separately. Now, I'm not even going to download Geekbench as I was able to just look it up online. Geekbench says that we're getting a 1710. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ask for the multi-score. And those are amazing numbers because, again, it wasn't that long ago we were getting... 200, 300, even 400 for the multi-core. And those are considered very, very high numbers. And then last but not least, one of the things that we have to do is go ahead and fire up the camera and then find out what kind of camera quality we're getting. So then, cheese, that was a selfie in portrait mode on the OnePlus N300. And you guys will be the judge of how good or how bad that is, but uh, that did not look very good in the viewfinder. So equally, let's go ahead and fire up. And then this is what a video looks and sounds like um the selfie camera of the oneplus n300 you guys be the judge of how good or how bad this camera quality is just as soon as we upload it into the macbook and on the same token this is what video looks and sounds like on the main camera of the oneplus n300 you guys be the judge of how good or how bad this camera quality may be as soon as we upload it into the macbook but I don't know, it doesn't look very sharp, the preliminary results aren't the best. The very last thing that we have to do, because we are not running Geekbench, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to run Super Mecha Champions, which is uh, a game that I enjoy playing, and I think it's going to give us a very good, going to give us a very good, not, it's going to give us a very good benchmark of what our device is is able to do now we're going to go ahead and play in guest mode and as we were able to discover from the last one it is going to make us run through the uh, tutorial and we're not going to be able to skip that but that's okay i'm i'm not worried about that uh what i did notice is that when it does put us into an actual match it will wind up putting us against real people and not beginner people like real real people because we were able to go ahead and go up against mechs that you have to save up for mechs that you have to um, unlock and a lot of those were higher um, higher quality or higher advanced max that again are not beginner max so we were not with the beginner crowd as I thought that we were going to be put uh, from the beginning and the fact that we were able to win the last match definitely made me feel good and definitely made uh, uh, made me feel a little more confident into the specs that this device has Paul with a 7 this time oh it just says Pop seven all. Oh. That's okay. I'm right with that. So, what I'm hoping for is that this time around, because we do have a 5G processor, because we do have a nicer, higher end device, that hopefully we will be able to continue the match just a little bit nicer and a little bit better than we were in the previous device. Just because in the previous device, not only was it a 4G processor, it just it wasn't a very high end processor. But again. Fingers crossed that we do have a higher end processor and this is going to allow, it's going to grant us the ability to go ahead and hopefully be able to have a very good time while we're playing this. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's go ahead and start up a match. Let's see what kind of experience we get while playing this. Let's see here, Hold on, let's go ahead and take a look. We can see that we're being put up against these people, uh, Edgar, Draveria, and Miss Fortune. Okay, and again, um, both Edgar and Misfortune have mechs that you need to unlock. Only Javeria has the Firefox mech that is given to you right away without you having to unlock anything. And as always, we land in the Yumi Castle just because it's like the Call of Duty clone of the Gulag because everybody lands there and it's such a forsaken spot, but it's okay. And then just immediately right off the bat. This is a much nicer, much more fluid experience than what we would have with our Moto G Play. But I have to say, I 
don't know if it's any smoother than my iPhone 11, which runs at 60 frames per second, and this supposedly runs at 90 frames per second. Now, mind you, I don't doubt it probably does hit 90 frames per second, but I don't think it's a sustained 90 frames per second. I think it has peaks and lows, and I think it definitely um, kind of chucks along, especially when the phone starts to get a little bit hot. And not to mention the fact that we're screen recording probably doesn't help the phone any any bit, you know? Oh, we're hunching along. It's okay. We don't want to hunch along. Yeah, you, you see some of that chugging along? Okay, we have plenty of little robots. We have a little flame to the All right, we are in business. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely taking a little bit longer than I'm used to. I mean, it chugs along, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm looking for people to mess up. Mm, that's a purple, that's a purple, that's a purple. All right, all right, that's good news. Purple, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I think, again, the fact that we're screen recording this probably is making these devices sound and feel a little bit worse than what they would. Since we had, since we had Carmel and Gabriel last time, we're going to do Firefox and Skylark. We're going to do Skylark first since I'm very, very familiar with Firefox. Now, this is a mech that I've used maybe once or twice in my whole life. I, yeah, I don't normally use this mech, and I'm hoping that I get a mech reset so that I can go ahead and pick a different mech. I don't even know why people pick this mech. This mech kind of sucks. I mean, I guess it has okay rapid, it has okay rate of fire in the secondary weapon, but. Ah, I, I don't get why people pick this fucking mech. Look, it has very little health. I don't see the appeal of this mech at all. So little health, no heavy hitting, doesn't glide, doesn't really do much. I mean, I guess it's glidey, but I'm not feeling this mech at all. And I feel like, again, this is going to be one of those really long, really boring matches where there's just not much going on, where I'm going to have to go out of my way to find people. It's just it's going to be a whole little fiasco. I guess that's what you would use that for, for fucking gliding. But for what? That shit's lame. So I definitely do notice the, the chug whenever you open up the map. That's chug, that's chug, and I don't notice that on my iPhone. I've never, never, ever had I realize that pulling up the map makes your phone chug. And I mean... I guess why wouldn't it? It's, it's having to pull up a whole picture, having to pull up a, I don't know, maybe like a 720 by 1600 resolution picture, but um, I guess it makes some phones chug along. But this is just lame. This this mech is so lame. It doesn't really have anything. Like, there's no secondary function. There's only one secondary weapon. It doesn't really glide. I mean, it glides, but... It, it's just, it really, really doesn't do much. Again, I, I don't understand. I don't see the appeal of this mech. Now, I'm, I'm going to be looking for a mech reset tool pretty soon. And now we're loading because our internet is acting up, apparently. Oh, boy. Just what I needed during my stream for my flipping... For my flipping internet to act up. Oh, of course. Lovely. Disconnected. Only that. You know what? At least that didn't happen on the Motorola. Okay. Flipping Motorola. Oh man, it's not connecting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. 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 It 
disconnected as soon as back to the login screen. All I'm trying to do is provide my viewers with some quality content so they can watch me play these video games. Is that too much to ask for Jesus flipping Christ? I mean, if it doesn't let me go back in there, I wouldn't be heartbroken. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but... <sighs> Could, can these devices please just, just let me show my viewers some quality content? I, I'd really appreciate that. I mean, the device is definitely getting warm, but it's not hot. Oh, slow connect. You know what? If you don't get your... Listen, man. What do you mean, slow connection? The flap do you mean, slow connection? Let's go ahead and maybe turn off some of these Wi-Fi devices. That might help. All right. So, <clears throat> all right. Um, I'm not too heartbroken about it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to end this. <sighs> so, that was Super Mecha Champions, um, the OnePlus N300. It's really a shame that we were able to finish our gameplay on the device that it was $75 cheaper a device that definitely had less specs now mind you I don't know if it was a network issue I don't know what it was but the fact that again that we were able to finish this on a much cheaper device instead of the nicer higher end 5G device definitely says something because numbers aren't everything and at the end of the day you have to make sure the device feels good in your hand that you're able to use it that it conduces you to a good and cathartic experience that you're not struggling with it that you're not dissatisfied because at the end of the day we're just all consumers and we're just trying to get a device that works well there are comments what are your thoughts on this device and its capabilities all around not only as a cell phone but also as a camera as a, a media device uh, for you to be able to enjoy your video games and as always thanks for watching